that away this is the ride for the bronze medal Great Britain versus New Zealand 16 laps of the track and the time taken on the third rider to cross the line so Great Britain just settling down now to their technique over the early stages well they've got a slight lead at the moment Ed Clancy one of the best starters in the world Stephen Burke taking that uh, job on now and uh, he did a very respectable job to get him away there yeah it's a uh, pressure job to lead off and Stephen Burke has stepped up to the mark there with Clancy not particularly uh, in good health at the moment carrying a virus let's hope he can shake the problem off now then we're waiting for that first kilometre split all, all about trying to beat your opponent here then for the uh, psychological uh, message and effect less than a tenth of a second in it now between these two teams in fact I say that and it literally half a lap there the New Zealand team lost 0.3 so that's not good for them now then let's have a look at this first kilometre split this very young lineup here for Great Britain coming up to the mark they've opened on a 1.49 and at the moment they've got the measure here of the Kiwis three quarters of a second is the advantage well the British team are looking good in fact both teams are looking good so it could be down to who makes a mistake but the British team is pulling away nicely now nearly a second advantage and that's an awful lot in this event so young Sam Harrison given his chance here he's certainly delivering reputations and nerves well not part of his makeup this uh, young fellow there who rides for the Cumcarn Paragon down in South Wales is going well and is fitted into the squad very very neatly the lieutenant uh, just finished his turn he's looking strong he looks good in the qualification round as well nearly two seconds the advantage now so it's all about backing it up that's what the coaches say after your qualification you've got to recover and then be able to deliver the coach was in uh, all sorts of troubles in the middle for New Zealand he just couldn't uh, make up his mind whether he was going to change the team but the squad he's chosen here at the moment has got no answer to Great Britain it's nearly two seconds now New Zealand trail the British quartet well I can see that uh, they're ahead of their own expectations Dan Hunt the coach walking at the side of the track he's just stepping sideways to indicate where they're at on schedule and he's walking away from that line in the right direction well we haven't had a sub four minute ride so far here the finalists just went outside that but it'd be nice if the uh, four on the track now could go quicker than qualification which is 402 well it's uh, it's a big ask to go under four minutes they've just done that uh, 59 second kilometer so they're going quick but they need more than that to go under four certainly looking good at the moment these changes are pretty smooth Sam Harrison coming here it's the back there getting towards the three-quarter marker let's have a look at the split time there it is 303.16 I'm gonna close out with something around about a four I would say yeah a four four one it's uh, all gonna be about how they uh, take this last kilometer now they're almost into the same straight as New Zealand now and they'll be feeling some benefit aerodynamically there and that's gonna help as they get to the back end of this race in trouble as well New Zealand Sam Bewley the man that started uh, number two has dropped off and they're struggling a little bit here the Kiwis and in fact Great Britain have almost got them in the same straight so the British quartet here giving a very well drilled performance and they're staying together and they are taking the New Zealand squad apart here so this will restore some confidence in the British camp after the qualification ride this morning there's the bell 250 meters to go and they are eating into the distance that separates them from New Zealand but a ragged change there uh, it could have cost Great Britain time heavily if they'd have been under pressure one rider dropping off as three come up to the line for the blanket finish good time by Great Britain for the bronze medal 402.781 that's the finishing time so we're ready now for the final of the men's 4,000 metre team pursuit. Starting in the home straight, there we are. The defending world champions, Australia. And in the back straight, their opponents, Russia. Burn. Leading off for Australia will be Jack Bobridge, who is the world record holder for the 4,000 metres. Following him will be Michael Hepburn. Rowan Dennis will go third wheel, and it will be Luke Durbridge, the fourth rider. No changes at all from qualification, and Markov leads off for Russia, followed by Serov. Third wheel will be Kovalev, and then uh, fourth wheel will be Evgeny Kovalev. Well, 
are underway now and there's already half a second in it here Australia I think are going to go out and just see how much damage that they can do 0.79 of a second slower Russia over Australia in the qualification and already you can see their 0.6 down on the pace Australia want to go away from these world championships particularly in this discipline with a serious message to the rest of the world beautifully smooth changes there I think the Russians are going to be a force to be reckoned with, but I'm not sure they're going to get near the Australians here. 0.5 of a second already. Australia have uh, pumped into their opponents of Russia. He's the first kilometre split. Let's have a look at it. It's respectable, 103.4. It is, and they've stemmed the damage. It's staying at uh, 0.5. Not a great change there by Russia. But a man just came down a little bit slow and it takes a lot of energy to, uh, to just nudge up onto the wheel you can't make those mistakes at this speed you'll pay for them later come down the gap now point two now the difference so russia are certainly not buckling as they're under the pressure here from australia and that gap has come down and that means that we could see an even better time if it gets closer point one russia are now getting themselves organized well, they've got some uh, strong men in that scene. They've got to be careful how they use them. They've got nothing whatsoever to lose. They're already in a great position with the silver. And they can literally fly it on the ragged edge here to see what they can do. Five one hundreds. It's getting even closer now. So Australia, the defending world champions, know they're in a scrap. It'll be interesting to see what the mark is at the two-kilometre point. I know it's all about medals, but we do try to monitor the times. They've slipped back a little bit, Russia. Point one now. They are off the pace of Australia. And Australia also uh, just throwing in a slightly ragged change there, so they're going to have to work for this all the way. If the Russians turn them over, that would be a massive result. Well, Rus sorry, Chris, Russia's last medal actually came in 1999 in Berlin. It was the bronze on that occasion. That would certainly be a turn-up. Well, there was uh, less than a second in it in qualification, and uh, it's looking like it's going to be that way in the final. Stretched out again, it's 0.5, so they've got their second win in Australia, they've recovered, they were down to, uh, well, they were almost dead level, but now they're digging deep again here, Australia, the coach on the side of the track is moving away from the line to tell the squad that they're now delivering and delivering correctly. Well, I think they're, uh, they're suffering, but they know how to do this event. They know how to fly this thing so hard and still keep it together. Russia have lost a man now, but uh, only a minute to go in this event. It's nearly 1.5 seconds the difference now. We're on 2.59 at the three kilometre point for Australia. So they're looking here for a successful defence of their uh, crown. They're down to three, both squads. Russia's struggling. They're struggling. Their third man is losing the wheel. And the man that stopped off the uh, Australian quartet is Luke Durbridge as we're uh, getting into the final 500 but Australia have got the measure now of the Russians so this is going to be a successful defence then of the title they won in 355.6 last time but it was a lot quicker the track and uh, Russia are beginning to break up their style is becoming ragged the three survivors for Australia still together. The well-drilled uh, unit are into the back straight. As I say that, the third man for Australia has lost three or four lengths. Look at this. So there's no blanket finish here as they come up to the line. Time on the third man. There it is. 357.8. Well inside that four-minute barrier. And there was a lot of talk about this track being slow. But that time certainly isn't slow. So Australia, the team of Jack Bobridge... Rowan Dennis, Luke Durbridge and Michael Hebburn are the world 4,000 metre team pursuit champions. They carry on the fine tradition for Australia, who of course have stood on that top spot on the podium many times.